is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for another wonderful opportunity the Lord has given us to gather together in his presence. I welcome everyone all over the globe who had seen this uh, meeting, a glorious one, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I just want to say that you have testimonies of what the Lord is doing since the meeting started. You can send us a video clip on the number displayed on the screen. Uh, you can video yourself and share your testimony. I am a, a sister so-and-so, Mr. so-and-so, Master so-and-so, uh, Pastor so-and-so from Nigeria, from Abba, from United Kingdom, from America, from Yugoslavia, or any part of the globe. You are just, you've been watching us and uh, the Lord has been good unto you. And uh, you see and you hear other people's uh, testimony and you want to share, please send your testimony um the number displayed either voice uh you voice it in the whatsapp you send it or you video yourself you tell us what the lord has done and i uh, then you send it to that number as soon as i uh, guess the response here we will join a to the world and let them join you to say god who did this to him be the glory so you have a testimony uh, the Lord had revived you, the Lord had visited you, the Lord had changed your life, the Lord had made something, you, you, you've discovered the difference since uh, you joined Hour of Deliverance. Just let us know what the Lord has done and uh, remember the Bible, Jesus Christ healed ten lepers and it was only one that came back to say thank you. And Jesus Christ asked a question, where are the other nine? Where are the other, are they not? And it was only one that came back to appreciate Christ. Let me tell you something you don't know about testimony. Uh, in testifying, you don't make me great, anything greater than what I am. Uh, you, you don't do that. The purpose of testimony, number one, is to return God's glory back to him. And to let this dying, sinful generation know that God is still alive. Mm. When you testify, you are talking, you are telling the world that God is not dead as some think. That God is still alive. And for telling the world that God is still alive because you are a recipient of God's magnanimity. Oh, heaven will bless you. Amen. You will see God appreciating that. You see God saying, oh, if my daughter could be appreciative over the little I did for her, oh, my daughter, take more of this. Take this one. Take another one and all the rest. So what am I just trying to say? A testimony at appreciates God and then uh, it acts like a catalyst. A catalyst is a chemical or an instrument or whatsoever that puts a, something in motion, that keeps it more lively, that makes it, uh, people see it as something real. So I am just using this opportunity to tell you, testimonies glorify God. And God said, my glory will I not share with any. If after God had blessed you, you cover it up. What does it mean? You are sharing his blessing. You are sharing his glory. And he said he will not take that. So give him his glory by testifying to the whole world what he has done. And then go home and enjoy the blessings. Yeah. So uh, you have a testimony. The Lord visited you, changed your life, uh, answered your prayers, revived your spirit man. Or that you know one thing or the other had happened that was not there before the this program you join this meeting it's a testimony just do that now apart from returning God's glory back to him it also builds up the faith of those who are believing the Lord that a day like this will be their day so when you share testimony apart from uh, returning God's glory you are defying the body of Christ you're making the body of Christ to really have confidence that the God they are serving is the living one and all the rest. And at the same time, building up the faith of the believers. Mm. I've not gotten mine. I, having had the testimony of this brother, I believe God as we journey along. 
I will get mine. Mm -hmm. And that will boost their faith. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you, uh, share your testimony and let people know on the number displayed, please can the number remain there on the screen. Uh, send your a prayer, a, sorry, your testimony, uh, either video clip or the written or voice any type. Send it to that number and I trust the Lord God will use it to bless you. I want to I want us to just listen to the testimony or one of the testimonies of our brethren who uh, joined in this uh, meeting. And I want you to believe God. God will do the same. And this one is a voice. Uh, the individual decided to voice it out. So as I play it, I want you to listen attentively. Just let's hear his testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is so faithful. I want to testify what the Lord has done for me during this hour of deliverance. My name is Brother Clancy Achivo from Port Harcourt. There is one of my friends Praise the Lord. Our God is so faithful. I want to testify what the Lord has done for me during this hour of deliverance. My name is Brother Clancy Hachiro from Port Harcourt. There is one of my friends that uh, the enemy inflicting with the spirit of madness. I was in the church on Thursday, 29th of July, 2021. We were in the church praying for the great defend that will take place on, uh, on Friday. sitting down with uh, our church secretary in that night after when we close uh, from the night prayer so i received that call and somebody asked me are you mr glance say yes say do you know one mr william because he's shouting your name that if anybody can help me to call Clancy, i and i will be safe i will be safe i said what is the problem he said he, the young man just ran into the estate in the night and jumped the fence and entered inside the hotel. He was shouting and he speak out of point. I said, please, they should not beat him again. They should just check one of the hotel room and put him the next morning that I will come and see him and know what is happening. When we closed from the church in the morning for the Spread the Flame program, I went to the hotel direct and I saw my friend, he was seriously beating up. I can't even recognize him again. And I asked him some question. He was not even, he was not able to explain anything. He abandoned his car all the way from at uh, Rumi Pekwe uh, railway and ran to a little more, very far distance. The spirit of madness, he didn't, he didn't even know what to say. He would talk good inside, he would, I didn't even know what to do. I carried him to my house. I called the doctor that was around to come and check whether there is any internal bleeding. He checked there is no internal bleeding. He was still speaking out of points, uh, promising people anything, you know, all of those things. I, I don't know what to do. So the next moment, I said we should carry him to his house. So that we will do arrangement and then take him to the hospital on sunday early morning before i came to the church i called some people they carried him to 
UPTH, they admit him in the Department of uh, uh, Psychiatry. And all the effort made, nothing seemed to happen. So one of these uh, uh, hour of deliverance, Daddy was praying and he said, if you have any friend or family relative or anybody that the enemy has inflicted with the spirit of madness, he mentioned some other thing, but it was that man madness that was my own because mm -hmm. this is a young man who helped me with some work and has been giving me some little, little connection and the enemy wants to turn his brain upside down. So when that he mentioned that prayer about madness, I carried my hand and put on my head. I begin to pray to this, my brother, my friend, my colleague. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed. And finally, God answered that prayer. After two days, the wife to be called me that he went to the hospital, that he has started behaving well. I sent the link to the lady. I said, please, everybody should continue that prayer. You should join this prayer anytime. Even, even though they prayed this one and they left, copy the link, continue the, the one that you save. Continue this particular prayer, this spirit of madness, continue on it. At the end, my friend now is free. There is nothing like any symptom of madness again. And the enemy did this because the young man want to go for traditional marriage. He want to cut marriage. We, we, we are traveling to Imbo State on 4th of September for his traditional marriage. And the enemy wants to destroy everything so that he will not marry. But oh. as God may have it, he is free from the spirit of madness. We are going to Imbo State on 4th of September to go and join in and celebrate with him and carry his wife back to River State here. To God be all the glory. That the God will bless you. And this program has done a lot of things to people. And I pray that God will give you the grace and the strength to continue in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 With, for those of them who are joining us, it is because of the low tone of uh, his speech or because of the accent in his uh, pronunciation, you were unable to uh, actually decode what he was saying. He said he had a friend and this friend of his um, all of a sudden became mad, packed his car and uh, in fact when he was sharing with me he said ran naked and jumped from one uh, house, jumped into a hotel, and they thought he was a criminal, and then started beating him. And while they were beating him, he was calling the name of this testifier, and told the people, please call so so and so, and he's the only one that can save me. He's the only one that can save me. And they called him that night, we were having night, night vigil for the workers. And then the next day, being Friday, he got there, took him. In fact, he was talking at all points, uh, promising people here even an ass. He couldn't coordinate uh, or mentally. And then they called a doctor uh, who examined him whether the beating gave him internal bleeding. But the doctor said there was no uh, internal bleeding. They took him to um, University Teaching Hospital, Port Harcourt, and then in the Department of Psychiatry nothing could happen. All the medications proved abortive. And then in one of the, in an hour of deliverance, if those of you who have been following, you could remember there was a night I was praying and as the Lord could lead me, I said, if you have a friend or you have a relation who is mad, any part of the world where the person is, raise your hand, put your hand, and then we have, I started praying. And he said, after that prayer, the next morning, the wife of the, his friend called him and said she went to the hospital and she discovered that the man is now talking normal. And now he gave uh, her the link and said, please let every member of the fam family join in the hour of deliverance. And he now said that right now his friend is free from spirit of madness everything had disappeared but one striking thing is this next month being september 
this young man would be traveling to Imo State for uh, the traditional marriage. And that was what the enemy saw and wanted to cancel that marriage. And to God be the glory, insanity had disappeared and the man has come back to um, his normal self and the traditional wedding that will take place on fourth. Oh God, I am standing by the authority in the name of Jesus. You who rescued this young man, that traditional marriage will hold. Amen. And whoso river that vowed that it will not take place and that projected this madness, oh God, may the person be in the mug while the celebration will be going on. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. You, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Any a part of the globe you are joining us for this hour of deliverance, uh, you will have a testimony and then you've not sent it, uh, please uh, we welcome your testimony and I trust God is going to really, really be a wonderful time. As you testify to goodness of the Lord, God will really bless you and indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, right now, we want to, um, there's no one coming on board. Please, say you have testimony, send it ahead of time so that we can go through it and then be able to tell the brethren what the Lord has done. Uh, you are just joining us and you've not subscribed. You are watching us via uh, YouTube. Uh, please uh, hit the subscription button there. Uh, that will uh, really enable you to get notified even when you might have forgotten that a program like this is going on and once you get a notification automatic notification that's the essence of subscribing please do that and then share to all your friends and share to all your friends those of them join watching us via facebook hit the like button start sharing now start share can you see what how this uh, brother saved the life of his friend assuming he wasn't there for his friend uh this uh, the man would have continued uh, suffering in the psychiatric home and this uh, traditional marriage which the enemy was fighting wouldn't have uh, been taking place but i trust god as you become instruments in helping <sighs> someone in the day of your trouble god will raise somebody that will assist you Amen. praise the lord and uh, tonight we are still continuing in the prayer of uh, you must recover all you've lost Amen. this uh a brother's friend has recovered her, his senses and whatsoever be the thing you lost you lost your health you lost your marriage you lost your uh, education whatsoever precious you lost your spiritual life the lord will restore back to you Amen. in this meeting in the name of jesus christ in i want name. you to close your eyes and join this a uh, brother to return the glory to God and say, no, God, to be the glory. glory. No. If you appreciate no. good thing, no. good thing will locate no. you. No. If you are happy no. for what no. the Lord has no. done for no. your friend, no. God will no. make no. such no. happen no. for no. you. No. Open no. your mouth no. and bless the Father, name of the Lord. No. Daddy, we just no. bless you. We worship no. you. We are honor you. No. We adore you. No. There is no like unto thee. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you for everything. We lift up your name above the clouds of heaven. Oh, God, you are wonderful you are marvelous you are, deliver, you are glorious, glorious. thank you jesus you thank you father father thank you, thank you for mighty jehovah so thank you for thank returning you, Lord, the sanity of this young man life. back to father, him you, Lord, he will live all the you. days of his life thank to worship you thank you lord in jesus name we pray amen heavenly father i just worship you for the testifier oh god in heaven because the young man didn't know what happened it was he, his friend, that knew all that transpired that could stand a better chance to testify. Mm. Oh God, anywhere that young man is right now, okay. let your hand rest upon his life. Amen. And the, the wife to be, anywhere she is, let your hand rest upon her life Amen. too. And Lord, I pray that you go before them in this traditional wedding mm. that will take place on 4th of September next mm. month. Amen. That the every crooked place make it straight. Amen. And Lord, every 
every Uzziah that must die before the, this thing can become a success, let that Uzziah join the ancestors. Amen. Every Herod that must die before Jesus can come back from exile, may that Herod go down. Amen. Lord, I come cover the premises where the traditional marriage will be taking place. Mm. Into your hand, I cover it with the precious blood of Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that everything that will be done that day, May all glorify your name. Amen. The terror of the Almighty surround the whole environment. Amen. Johnny messages to all those who we move from Port Harcourt to Imo State. Mm. To and fro, grant them Johnny messages. And let this family be a glorious family. Amen. Keep them by your power. Amen. The purpose for bringing them to this earth will not be aborted. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Right now we are moving in the realm of the Spirit. I want you to begin to call upon God. The God that delivered this brother, deliver me tonight. The God that delivered this brother, answer me tonight. The God that performed this miracle, I am before you. Remember me, O oh Lord, tonight. I want you to open your mouth and begin to call upon God. The God that delivered this brother of madness. O oh God, remember your sons and daughters all over the world. Lord, look at their children. O oh God, remember them. Remember them. Remember them. Remember them. Fight for them. Fight for them, O Lord. 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 The mighty God, the great I am. Fight for them. Lord, fight for them. Daddy, fight for them. The miracle working Father, fight for them. O God in heaven, answer. In Jesus name name we pray in jesus amen. in jesus name we pray amen anything i lost anything i all that i lost all that i lost in life in life without my knowledge without my knowledge when i was a baby when I was till a baby. now till now oh lord god oh lord restore god. them back to me restore them restore back, them to back to me restore them, restore back, them to back to me, me. Them can back i hear me. you pray anywhere oh, you are that it was so river your sons and daughters have lost in this life some have lost their health some have lost their senses some have lost their wealth some have lost their marriages some have lost their babies be restoration tonight tonight that they are not at the gate of heaven that they are not at the gate of heaven the miracle working father look at your sons and daughters all over the globe restore 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 in the name of jesus 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 thank you lord Jesus, thank amen. you, Father. In Jesus. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, dearly beloved, listen, you may not understand. Mm -hmm. I, I think I can remember this testimony clearly, but the little I can, I, I will try to share it. Now, listen, this is a woman, and this woman was in labor, and she went in for labor in the labor room. I, I, I think my wife, you can assist me just in case I couldn't get it correctly. So something happened. These are three midwives taking care of uh, the pregnant women. And they discover that any child that is born, uh, the midwife will carry the baby. And also if the child came into this world, they will collect. Now, I think uh, this one, this woman had pushed her baby. She came out. The midwife collected it. And they, she was hearing them saying, why do you want to collect all from this baby? Why do you? So, and they were muttering, uh, shared, saying some things. And this woman had it. Uh, at the end of it all, her baby was given unto her. But, and they was asking them, I overheard you saying, uh, you, you are wicked. Why did you collect all? Why did you, you would have left uh, either one for this baby? And this woman said, Madam, let me tell you the secret, the truth. You see this nurse? It's a witch. All the babies that are born in this uh, hospital, any one, as soon as he received the baby, you will look at the baby at the forehead. And the star the child uh, comes with, and now they will collect the star. And this baby of yours came with three. 
and he collected one, collected the two, and was trying to collect the only one remaining. I fought against it. I said, no, it will not. That's what we were quarreling. At the time, you were not. Now, what am I trying to say? Now, a baby was given unto the, this uh, a woman, like hell and hearty. But the thing the baby came into this world has been taken away. Now, that's one side. Now, listen to this story, testimony. I read it, this one on a, a man testified. I read it. And this man said, this is a man who owns a maternity where women deliver. And this man was wicked and evil. And there's this particular child. And this child, they collected, he discovered that after the delivering of this baby, he collected the destiny of this child. Now, something happened. As this child was growing, uh, growing up, now one of the days, the man became born again. So, and this man went to market to buy goods. And he discovered that it was this child whose destiny he collected and sold that was now a wheelbarrow pusher carrying the goods of the people. And when he saw this child, with, with their power, he knew that was the child born in his uh, clinic. And he collected the destiny of this child and reduced this child to wheelbarrow pusher. Oh, you know, uh, those of us in, in uh, Nigeria, some of our markets are so dirty. During rainy season, you will be putting your legs on a dirty pool of uh, water and all the rest. You could see this uh, child who was destined either to become an engineer, who was destined either to become a pilot. And this man collected that destiny and sold it out. Now, he came to his pastor. And he asked his pastor, he said, Pastor, is there any sin that God cannot forgive? The pastor said, God forgives every sin. And he asked the pastor again, is there any sin that God cannot for, uh, forgive? And he repeated, God forgives all sins. And something happened. Pastor said, why are you asking this? He now told the pastor, he said, Pastor, before I gave my life to Christ, this is what I did to a, one of the babies that were delivered in my clinic. And Pastor, I saw this baby who is oh. now a boy pushing wheelbarrow in the market. And when I saw this boy, and I started crying, and I discovered it was me who reduced this boy pushing away barrel, all the women that will buy their products, and it is this woman will carry their load, this boy will carry their loads and go to the car park and now and collect a peanuts and be putting his bare foot on this dirty pool of water. Pastor, can God forgive me? Can God, and he told, Pastor told him, God can forgive you. But daddy beloved, can this boy come back to his original destiny that had been sold out and now turned? I, I, it takes divine intervention. If that boy was, to, was created to be among those that would be lifting a craft, a Boeing, a 7889 or there about big aircraft, and now this boy is now pushing with barrow. It could be he didn't go to primary school. It could be he didn't go to secondary school. It could, it could be he couldn't go to university, dearly beloved. Now, if he could go back to primary school uh -huh. at the age of 10 or 12, when will he finish to go to secondary school and now university or to go to aviation school? Uh -huh which means that destiny had been wasted. Mm. There may be some of you who are here. I am just going to pray for some fellows. What they are doing is what they are is not what they are destined to do. 
It's because someone has taken what they came into this world. Dearly beloved, I want to share a testimony. This one happened in our church, Old Time Faith Ministries. There is this young man, a young talented man, and uh, this young man was our church member. He got married. He read um, BSc Economics, single or not. Highly talented. If you come in the school of journalism, in the field of journalism, excellent. Business, business proposers in his brain. So, it's, in fact, ideas that can turn into millions was deposited in this young man. And yet, this young man married a young girl and couldn't take care of this young girl. They had a baby and they were living in one room. They got to a point, the young man couldn't pay for that one room. The landlord had to throw away his properties outside for the rain to beat. I'm telling you something that happened in the city of Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. That's my church member. I didn't know why his situation, it Leonard, oh my dear. Now, he was into so many businesses. He's a fairly used clothes he sold to no avail. Anything he put his hand never worked. So one of the days, I looked, I pitied this young man. I told him, can you kneel down, let me pray for you. And he knelt down, as I started praying, I had a hysterical was laughter. Iko, 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 iko. And why he was, it was a voice of a man that, you know, if you check in the book, uh, book of Mark, chapter 5, uh, Jesus Christ came in contact with a madman of gathering. And as uh, Jesus asked, who are you? He said, we are legions. For we are legions. For we are many tormenting this man. So they used the vocal cord of the man talking to whosoever, that's Jesus Christ, challenging their authority. So the power that reduced this learned young man into um, a master, how do they put it, a jack, making him jack of all threats and master of none. I started, I said, who are you? He said, Pastor Listing, I am the uncle to this young boy. Pastor, I kid his father. His father was my junior. I belong to a secret society. I kid his father. And now I saw that this young boy was uh, his, his brainy. He had a shiny star. Pastor, I took his star and I gave it to my son. He used it to travel to America. Oh. Dearly beloved, the young man has the certificate, but someone else is enjoying you enjoying the proceed out of that certificate some of so many of you may have certificates without good jobs so many of you may be uh, you you give people ideas that can fetch them fortune you that gave them the idea <laughs> you are mr mm. nobody you are making people great <laughs> while you are there impoverished in poverty and you are wondering what's going on What's happening? You, the thing you came into this world might have been stolen. You know what happened? I, when I heard that, I said, no, I can't take this. So the talent of this young man, my church member, you too can give to your son, and he used it to ta travel to US, enjoying in US while he's suffering in Nigeria. That's why some of you are suffering Without your knowledge that someone, somewhere is making use of what you came into this world. Tonight, I mean tonight, whosoever that is enjoying drinking your milk, eating your honey, why you are here suffering, they must vomit it. I said they must vomit. You don't believe it. You Amen. believe it and I hear you. Amen. I said they must vomit it. Amen. It doesn't belong to them. 
It doesn't. It's not their property. It's not. And do you know what happened? I exercised authority. You know, you don't need to come to me to meet me one-on-one. -on -one. Prayer has no distant barrier. Mm -hmm. It was in the city of Port Harcourt. I mm. prayed, collected that star, original mm. star. The wicked father collected from this boy, gave to his own son, and he used it to travel to America. I recovered it and returned it back to original owner. Mm -hmm. And I took that which he gave to mm -hmm. him, that made him jack of all trades and master mm -hmm. of none. I returned it back to the owner. Oh, yes. Do you know one month later, his cousin, who was in power, and now said, send me your CV, send me your CV. Mm. The CV was given to him. Automatic employment he got. And dearly mm. beloved, this young man no longer moves by road. Unless the city he was to travel has no airport. That's the only time he can go by road. Outside, mm. from one city, from one airport, to another airport and can you see such a dramatic lifting mm. because of the recovery of the stolen destiny oh my yes. god somebody's yes. destiny that had been stolen will be recovered now amen i said it will be recovered now amen now, let me finish up the story you know what happened now he got this job but before he got this job something transpired the son of his uncle that was using his destiny to shine in U.S. committed crime in U.S. American government deported him back to Nigeria. Yeah. How come the owner has collected back his team? Brother, uh, watching us right now, you will yeah. get back that which belongs to you. Amen. Sister, watching us right now, you are getting back that which belongs to you Amen. what the enemy stole from you he or she must pay reparation Amen. restitution must be done right now I, I want you to believe the lord right now as i'm going to pray irrespective of the country of your um, residence god is there as I pray and you echo, Amen, it is done. Amen. I say it is done. Amen. Close your eyes and let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this wonderful privilege you have given us to serve our generation. Mm. Lord, you know the addresses of your sons and daughters whose destinies have been tampered with. Mm. You know where they are right now. You know the countries of their residence right now. You know the hamlet of villages or communities where they are right now. Daddy, I am standing as your voice, exercising authority. You said in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power mm. to tread upon serpents and scorpions yes. and over all the power of the enemy, mm. and nothing shall by any means hurt That's me. True. Daddy, I'm exercising that rulership over the kingdom that traded with their destiny you have touched the untouchable right now by the power in the name that is above every other name jesus christ i arrest those powers i arrest those kingdoms all the environmental forces within this environment I release 900 trillions of God's atomic bomb, turn them to dust and ashes, Amen. grind them to powder. Amen. The missiles of the Almighty move in billions Amen. and waste all the powers that are in the heavenlies from the occultic kingdom, from the marine world, from the powers Amen. of darkness. Let Amen. them be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The power of Christ reign without rival. Amen. Jesus Christ, the resurrection power. Mm. Rain across mm. the globe right now. Mm. That they are commanding all those that their destinies have been traded with by the authority and the power. I destroy the powers that collected them. Amen. I destroy the powers that collected them. Amen. And you that sold it out and you, mm. you are bragging with stolen destiny, mm. you are going down. Amen. 
I say you are going down. Amen. I say you are going down. Amen. What you are bragging with does not belong to you. Mm. The owner is getting it right now. Amen. The owner, is, that they are masking by the authority and the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever they collected from your children, their stars, their destinies, their glory, their righteousness, their purity, mm. their power. Mm. Oh God, all over the globe by the power, quickening power of the Holy Spirit, I overpower the kingdom, burn them to us. Ashes, and I recover their destinies. Amen. Any part of the globe where you are joining us in this meeting, receive back your destinies. Amen. Receive back your glory. Amen. Receive back your righteousness. Amen. That which the enemy stole from you, receive it back. Amen. 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 Your health, receive it back. Amen. Your righteousness, receive it back. Amen. Your intelligence, receive it back. Receive it back. Amen. You are customers to receive it back. Amen. You are well to receive it back. Amen. Everything the enemy has stolen by the authority in the name of Jesus, I recover them. Take. Can you stretch forth your hand and receive? Take in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Woman of God, just lead us in some of uh, some prayers. And I want you to join us as we're praying together. And finally, I'm going to come back to really settle some issues tonight. That which you lost at, Cal at Eden, you are going to recover at Calvary. And that which, I didn't hear your amen. amen. That which you lost in the mm. days of ignorance, you are recovering in the days of knowledge. I'm telling you, for joining our of deliverance, your life can never remain the same. Amen. You are alive. I mean you are alive. I, mm. I mean you are. You see how madness disappeared. And mm. yesterday I shared a testimony. And this is a, 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 a man. And this thing happened 25 years ago. That was a, the grandfather's a wife who was a wizard. And now killed his own mother. And him being angry said, no way, I can't take this. You that killed my mom, I must deal with you. He took police, entered the house, the house of this wicked witch, destroyed all her charms and everything, burnt them. And packed the loads of this woman, put them in the vehicle, took her back to her father's house. And this woman stayed in her father's house and died and was buried there. She didn't come back to the husband's house. And then, uh, that was it all, 25 years ago. And he never knew there was anything um, that has to do with that. It was last week while we were in this meeting hour of deliverance. That woman appeared and blocked his way. You are going nowhere. Mm -hmm. And it was then the man, the woman, the man said, the man remembered, he said, oh, pastor, now I remembered. Mm -hmm. This is my grandfather's uh, wife that died many years ago. Okay, that thing I did to her when she killed my mother. Okay, so she did something to me. Could she be the one that blocked my ways? That is exactly. And that young man I'm praying for you right now. Um, young man, in the first place, you took laws into your hands. You shouldn't have bonded her out of her matrimonial home oh. and sent her to her father's house. You didn't do well. The battle is not yours. It's not a physical fight. And you did it oh. and nothing happened. It could be there was the woman who had nobody and the family received it. But the matrimonial bond, you have scattered it. The Bible says that which God join, has joined together, let no man put asunder. And that, if you are joining me, you are hearing what I'm saying tonight. I want you to use your tongue and count your teeth. You will see the extent of that action of 
25 years ago. You will see what it has done. And I, I want you, if you are joining in this meeting, to ask God for mercy. You know, I don't answer prayers, but I pray. And oh. the prayer that God answers is the prayer that follows God's principles. God said, that which I have joined together, let no man. You could say, I sent her packing because she killed my mom. You would have allowed God to judge her. Oh. You would have allowed, since she used diabolical power, you would have prayed and allowed God to handle her the way he felt, he deemed necessary. But you took the laws in your hands. If you check around you, you could see some of the things you are going through came as a result of this. So anywhere you are there, man I'm talking about, just ask, pray now this prayer with me. My God, my Father, show mercy upon me. Your servant has opened my eyes. Nobody told me that what I did was wrong. But now I've understood this a wrong decision I took. Oh Lord, forgive me. Show me mercy. May what I did, the effect, cease in my life. Lord, from this day forward, have mercy upon me. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm praying for you. First of all, I condemn the action. Oh. The spirit of that woman that was bundled from her matrimonial home back to her father's house. I've condemned the action. Two wrongs cannot make a right. Whatsoever be the curse you placed upon him that have been following him, whatsoever you said, that have been trailing him, O oh God, in the first place, he did evil. He thought that the weapons of our warfare are carnal. He never knew the almighty true God. It was not between God and Machet. It's a spiritual that did show him mercy. And let the spirit of that woman crying for vengeance be pacified. Amen. I present the blood of Jesus Christ that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. All her rights that were denied of her, her husband or her husband's people that would have assisted her since she had no child. And that, that nothing was done. Even at the verge of her death, <sighs> whatsoever be the curse, release, that so so and so who pushed me out of my matrimonial home, this or that will happen to you. Just forgive. Amen. Let your spirit forgive. Amen. Lord, I present the blood of Jesus, or the bitter cry that woman cried. Irrespective of the havoc she did by killing his own mother, Lord, forgive. Amen. Forgive. Amen. And right now, I present him before you. Lord, I am asking you, woman that blocked his way, the things you did when you were alive, now that you are dead and those things are still blocking his ways, telling him he cannot succeed. He cannot have a, have a stable home. He mm. cannot succeed in this life. Mm. Right now. Presenting the blood of Jesus Christ that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. You woman, can you move out of his way? Amen. Move out of his way. Amen. Let your wrath cease. Amen. Let your trouble come to an end. Amen. Move out of the way. Mm. And young man, Receive the grace of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Go in and be what God wants you to be in life. Amen. The favor, the mercy, the righteousness. Have a stable home. Amen. Have a stable job. Prosper Amen. in this life. And 
from what you have learned, live a life that will honor him on this earth. Thank you, blessed Father. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. The man of God, just one or two prayer points and then we'll continue. My God, my Father. My God, my Father. And before we pray, my brethren, anywhere you are now, there's a prayer we're going to pray. Mm. Whosoever that have received ordination from the devil to bring, bring you down mm. or to hinder you from becoming what God originally created you to be, that's what you're going to pray this time. My God, my Father. My God, my Father. Any man or woman. Any man or woman. That have received ordination. Had received satanic ordination. From the devil. From the devil. To make sure. To make sure. That he brings me down. 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 Or that he hinders me from receiving what God originally me created me to have. From receiving what God originally created me to have. Be disgraced by fire. Be disgraced by fire. Be disgraced that by fire. Move all over my the brothers world. and my sisters, I want you to pray this to prayer. Any man or woman that has received satanic anointing to bring you down or to hinder you from becoming what God originally created you to be, let such a one be disgraced by fire. Let such a one be disgraced by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Whosoever that has received satanic anointing to hinder you from becoming what God wanted to be or to bring you down, let such a one be disgraced by fire. Let such a one be be disgraced by fire. Be exposed by fire. Be disgraced by fire. Be exposed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. My destiny. My star. My star. Anywhere you are. Anywhere you are. In the camp of the enemy. 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 Hear the sound of my voice. Hear the sound of my voice. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back. Come back. My destiny. My destiny. Come back. My star. Come back. Anywhere you are. In the camp of the enemy. Come back. Hear the sound of my voice. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. My brothers play. My sisters play. Destiny, oh my God, my, my Father, I am commanding by the authority in the name of Jesus. Commanding my destiny, commanding my star, anywhere you are now, in the camp of the enemy, hear the sound of my voice. Come back to me, anywhere you are now, the stone of destiny, all the sons and daughters. Oh my God, anywhere you are now, hear the sound of my voice. Hear the sound of my voice. Go back to the right owner. Go back to the right owner. Go back to the right owner. My brothers, my sisters, receive their destiny. 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 Receive Thank get back you, to the owner. Get back to the owner. In the name of oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Get back to the original owner. God. In the name Thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. In mm. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You get. You get. That refuse. That, that refuse to open. That refuse to open. Before me, before me, I command you. I command be you. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. My you brothers, my sister, I don't know the gates. Are you gates? Are you gates that hinder you? That is close against you. Command them to scatter. Command them to scatter. You are your gates. You are your gates. That is standing before me. That is standing before me. That is hindering me from possessing my possession. Scatter. 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 You are your gates. You are your gates. You are your gates. Hindering the souls and daughters of the Almighty God from possessing 
their power, power the power of the Almighty. Scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder, scatter by thunder. You are your scatter, 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 scatter in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. My brethren, I want you this hour, by faith, as the iron gate has is now scattered, mm. I want you to enter by faith. Mm. My God, my Father, my God, my Father, go before me, go before me into the camp, into the camp where my destinies and stars are kept, where my destinies and stars are kept. Direct me to my own. Direct me to my own. And by faith I recover. And by faith I recover. By faith I recover all. Recover your health. Recover your destiny. Recover your star. Recover your certificate. Recover your children. Recover your marriage. Recover. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. All that the enemy has done. All that the enemy has done for you. You are children, your marriage, your certificate, you are good health, recover all. You are riches, recover all. Recover in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. The iron gate is already shattered. Recover all your blessings. Recover your money. Recover your health. Recover your certificate. Recover your children. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Recover your marriage. Recover your marriage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for no, it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Right now, I am praying for you. Mm. Mm. I want you to understand something. Any moment from now, any moment from now, somebody will be lifted. Amen. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Somebody will be lifted. Amen. Heavenly Father, I move in the realm of the Spirit all over the globe. All your sons and daughters whose stars and destinies had been exchanged. Oh. Hmm. oh God, at this moment, that I am standing by the authority and the power. In the name of Jesus, I recover that which belongs to them and give back to them and take away that which belongs to the other one and give back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dearly beloved, Mm. I am still, my ears are still open to hear that that big python that swallowed that woman has vomited her. Sister, I am not kidding. I'm not wasting my time. I want you to believe the Lord. Since the python swallowed you spiritually, <laughs> though you may feel I'm okay, you have been incapacitated to enter into the blessedness of the Almighty. Your movement is limited. Your real you is not there. I provoke you to believe me. I provoke you to doubt your doubts and believe God. Daddy, I still move. Since this had come to my knowledge, she cannot remain in the belly of Python. Jonah stayed in the belly of a fish for three days. A symbol that the son of man shall be in the belly of the earth for three days. At this moment, it has gone beyond one month, gone beyond two years, or it could be one year or six months. I don't care to know the number of years. 
I trouble the territorial waters of the earth, the great python of the high sea, Jesus Christ remaineth Lord. Everything that creepeth upon the earth, you python, you creepeth, you creep, you crawl, vomit. Amen. You swallow this woman, and all you, there are others you swallowed, or there are others destinies you swallowed as well. They saw it in the dream, and since that encounter, things, their lives have not been what it ought to. By the mm. efficacy of the resurrection power, mm. I torture you. Amen. Their lives tear your intestines in pieces. Amen. Their wealth you swallowed. Everything that belongs to my generation watching now you swallowed by fire, by force. Vomit. I say vomit in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. For it is done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I bless the name of the Lord for those of you who are there. I thank God for what he has done for you. And I know that God who made this hour to be had really done so quite a great deal. My ears are open to receive your testimonies. Amen. Sending your testimonies oh. to the number displayed on the screen. It could be audio, it could be video, it could be, but I prefer audio or video. I reading it, it, reading it out takes my time, but you voicing it or saying it so that people will know that this is real. It's not Pastor Water fabricating all liars. We end up in hellfire. Oh, yes. Or if you say what God never did because you want our of deliverance to be anything, you will end up <sighs> in hellfire. Mm. Liars will not escape hell. Mm -hmm. So tell us what the Lord did. Don't add. Don't subtract. Don't feel inferior to share what the Lord has done or else yeah. God will withdraw what he has given unto you mm. because you are ashamed of him who has blessed you. So I encourage you, uh, join us tomorrow. Tell all your friends, please take this video, share it to all your friends. You've not subscribed in the YouTube, please subscribe. You've not shared, please do well. After this meeting, circulate this video to all your friends in Nigeria, mm. outside in Nigeria, in America, send it abroad. Encourage them, tell them, hour of deliverance for this week will end tomorrow. You know, uh, it is a program that runs Monday through to Wednesday of mm -hmm. every week. One hour meeting. And I hope to see you there tomorrow. Invite all your friends. Shall we pray before mm -hmm. we go to bed? Yeah. Lord, I lift all your sons and daughters all over the globe into your hand. Mm -hmm. I pray that tonight you build walls of fire around their homes. Mm -hmm. Hide them in your pavilion. Amen. Give them sound sleep and heavenly dreams amen perform miracles upon miracles in their lives amen. thank you abba father thank you, jesus. in jesus christ's name we pray amen amen, amen.